All right, so number 28, we're looking at an integral that's basically saying it's a graph of x cubed. Now you can know what it looks like or you don't necessarily have to know what this function looks like that's in the integrand, but it does help sometimes as far as for you to visually see that between three and five, oh my God. So between three and five, the area they're saying is going to be 136. This area is 136. Um, and you can think of it as unit squared if you'd like. Looking at this, from 3 to 5 of x is 8. And from 3 to 5 of just dx is 2. Now this x right here, let me do it in red, this would be if it was a line. So from 3 to 5, you can see it's going to be less, it's not drawn to scale, but it's going to be less and the area is just 8. And then last but not least, guys, what's the function here in the integrand for that last one? 1. So y is equal to 1 is a horizontal line at y is equal to 1, and between 3 and 5, that area would be 2. Visually, that's what's going on, okay? And we want to know from 3 to 5 of each individual piece, so we can take the antiderivative of each, so you have the integral of 9 is 9x. The 4x becomes constant multiple rule, so that all I'm looking at is the x. You help me out. What is the integral of x? x squared over 2. Multiply the 4 back in. Reduces to what? 2x squared. Okay. And then 3x cubed. I'm going to concentrate on this because I've constant multiple ruled out the 3. What does x to the third become integrated? x to the 4 over 4, and then multiply the 3 back in so that you get this as far as your integrand. Now, I don't have enough room, but this right here is where everything that I just wrote would end up going, okay? So all of this would go where that blue rectangle is per se. This is the antiderivative of a definite integral bounded between 3 and 5, so now you're just going to plug everything back in to see what it is that you would get. Any questions? Okay, yeah, yeah, my bad. I don't know why I'm doing the long way. This right here of x cubed is the same as x cubed there. So it's like the area is going to be 136 when I integrate it for right here. So it's just 3 times 136. Constant multiple rule. Thank you for that. This x here came from the area of 8. So it's 4 times 8, which is 32. And then last but not least, the um, area of 1 is 2. That you're going to constant multiple rule 2 with what? 9. So that you get 18. So you can use constant multiple rule. Thank you for that. Yes, participation point.